Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing a predictions video on episode 3 of Game of Thrones. It's coming tonight, I'm so excited to talk about it. But before we go into today's video, we're actually sponsored this video by Amino Apps. If you want to keep the conversation going about Game of Thrones, download the Amino app on your phone, an app which has an incredible network of communities from, say, comic books to Game of Thrones. You can take part in polls, quizzes, and most brilliantly, stories. In terms of stories, for instance, you can check out the Bat Productions' story on the five whites who may return in episode 3. Go over to your phone, get the Amino app, go into Game of Thrones Amino, follow me at the DC's TV show to watch my recap story and participate with the communities. Alright, so let's go ahead and get right into this video. So this is going to be some predictions for tonight's episode. This is the Battle of Winterfell. I'm so excited. The trailer is just pure awesome and obviously it teases this massive battle so apparently this was such a long episode to film they filmed for like 30 days or something and just one episode that's nuts for tv and so we can expect a lot of stuff to be happening in this episode so mainly in this video we're going to be focusing on the potential deaths of the characters like who might die and who's probably going to survive but also i'm going to talk a bit about maybe some whites that we might be seeing because, like I said at the start of this video in the sponsorship section, there are probably going to be some people we are reminded of. Because I do believe in one of the later battles in Season 7, we saw some people we recognised. Or it's happened many times before, so I think that's going to happen again. And so let's talk about these predictions, who might die in tonight's episode, because that's what everyone wants to know, really. Because this episode is just like pure battle, apparently. So, alright, let's go ahead and get right into this. So, my number one pick, this is not ranked, these are just the people I presume have a high chance of dying, and then I'll tell you the ones I think have a lower chance of dying in tonight's episode. So, Beric Dondarrion, I think he has a high chance that he's going to die. He doesn't really have too much going for him in terms of story. I think he's a very killable character, you may like him, I like him, but I think out of everyone, He's very high up there because, you know, his ability to resurrect anyone is the only reason truly why he's sort of still alive on the show because he's been able to tag along with his ragtag team and he's been going up north and so on and he's been near to death many times and I just feel like he's going to meet his death sometime in this episode. I think he's very likely. So another one that I think is quite likely but not as likely as Beric is Tormund. So Tormund, since we first met him, we know he's a nutter. He's absolutely nuts and he was first introduced a while back. You know, he's a wildling, he's crazy, he's all about the battle and I have this sneaking feeling that his obsession with battle, his obsession with Brienne might lead him to maybe save Brienne in this episode or it might go vice versa, he dies, she dies. I think actually if we move on to the next one, I think Brienne is actually kind of high on my list as to who will die. In the trailer you see her commanding the army, she is now a knight as it was revealed last episode, such an amazing scene. I think with them making her a knight, it's more likely that now she's had that moment that she's been waiting for for all these seasons, she's finally a knight, she's the first woman to actually be able to be a knight. I feel like that was just that moment to be like, here you go, we've completed this character and now she's going to die and you can see her, she's 100% leading the fight in the battle so she's going to be up there, presumably maybe fighting the Night King sometime in this episode, so super excited for that, I feel like she's maybe high on the list in my opinion. Alright, so another person high on the list is Theon Greyjoy, so we know a few episodes ago, he comes up, he's in Winterfell, and now he's reunited with Sansa, the talking and everything last episode, and due to his actions very early on, when Game of Thrones first started, I feel like, again, similar to Tormund and similar to Brienne, I feel like he's destined to die. I don't think he's going to carry on, because he's not like a major character anymore, he's just sort of there as a person who's going to be in the battle and I feel like he's going to be a casualty because 
it will be pretty heartbreaking, but I feel like he's going to sacrifice himself rather than, say, just straight up die. Because, you know, he's sort of been twisted since, you know, all that Ramsey bolts and stuff in prior episodes. Alright, so another person high on my list to die is probably Grey Worm, because like with many of these characters, he's been around for a long time, he's been in battles, he's been victorious, but then recently, obviously, we've had him in a relationship, and I feel like some of those moments and the connection between the two characters is going to be used as some sort of drama, as a tragedy, more like with him actually dying and Misande actually getting the news and that will break her and sort of seal whatever's going to be happening with her in the future. And I think Grey Worm, out of everyone, is probably the most killable character because that's what he is destined to be. You know, that's what he's been trained to be his whole life, a warrior, and I think he's gonna die a warrior's death. In terms of some other people, I think maybe Gendry might be up there a little bit because we've had that connection between him and Arya. Also maybe Podrick. It's because mainly I feel like they're not going to kill anyone massive in this episode. I think maybe the highest candidate for who might die in terms of status would be Brienne because she had that moment last episode. But yeah, like I said, I think maybe Podrick and maybe Gendry are sort of like pretty high but not as high as everyone else. I think Jorah Mormon is actually pretty decently high, but I don't sort of rank him as high as, you know, some of the other people like Brienne, but he sort of has been serving Daenerys all this time, and he's a true warrior, he's been around forever, and he's overcome everything, and now he's finally got the chance to protect his queen and to actually fight, and with him getting the sword last episode, the Valerian steel sword, I feel like, again, there's a lot of setup for some potential deaths. And so, now let's move on to talk about some people that I would say aren't very likely to die. So, number one, Jon Snow and Daenerys, they are not dying. Like, not episode three, that would be absolutely amazingly out of the blue if they actually die, because, you know, they are the main characters, the Mother of Dragons and Jon Snow, now a Targaryen. You know, their storyline's probably going to last this whole season, and it's obviously such a central part of the show that I highly doubt they're dying, at least in this episode. They might die later in the season. Alright, so, also, I don't think that Arya or Jaime Lannister or Tyrion are actually going to die, or Sansa for that matter, because Sansa, she's not going to be fighting. I don't think she's had that much training as far as I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, I think she would definitely live to fight another day, and you know, she's going to probably be holding down Winterfell. And I reckon by the end of this episode, maybe they start retreating because we have the Battle of Winterfell and the Night King and his army, as it said in the trailer, they're already here and, you know, there's so many of them, like, they can't really hold them all off. So I highly doubt that any of them are actually going to die. And just quickly before we actually end this video, we're gonna be talking about some people that might be whites in this episode. Not talking about the people that are going to die in this episode because most likely they're gonna turn into whites if they don't burn them. But I'm talking about the people that have died in the past, in the north, or potentially are buried at Winterfell. All right, so I think a very highly likely candidate for potentially being a white is Hodor. So I think it would be a massively missed opportunity to not bring back Hodor as a white because the last time we saw him, he was holding the door, he saved everyone, he saved Bran, and I feel like because we didn't burn his body, you know, we didn't see where he went after that. Obviously, he definitely got killed, but this would be the perfect time to bring him back in the Battle of Winterfell and he comes down marching with the Night King. Another candidate might be Beric, so he died nearer to the end of Season 7. I don't think, as far as I can remember, they burned his body, so I think he's a highly likely candidate for who might return. And then in regards to the Winterfell crypts and, you know, who's been buried there and preserved, or however they keep their bodies, maybe we might see, like, Lyanna Stark or Ned Stark actually coming back to life. I think that's an interesting theory. I think it's more unlikely but I think there's a chance that something like that might be really cool to actually happen and, you know, sort of haunt and run after John or someone in the Stark family. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you're new to not miss any Game of Thrones videos. Also, please be sure to go on your phone, get the Amino app and join in with the Game of Thrones community because I've been posting some stories there. Also, I post stories on Amino on all other communities like Star Wars, Marvel, The Flash, DC or the comic section. All of those, I always post a lot of stories, two a week actually. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to go to Amino and get the app. It would mean so much to me. So, follow the link in the description below and follow me at the DC TV show on there. So, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.